Hello, I'm Herrick Kimball, and today in this video I'm going to introduce you to the unbungee cord, and I'm going to show you how I make unbungee cords. Unbungee cords are an alternative to bungee cords, like you see right here. The unbungee is less expensive and far more versatile than a bungee. You're familiar, I'm sure, with this, the bungee cord, uh, different lengths of stretchy rubber with a hook on each end. Uh, they have their place, they're useful. Uh, you can often find these alongside the road, and that's where I found this one. Now the unbungee is a deceptively simple piece of equipment, and this is one example. This is a relatively short length of rope, about seven foot seems to be optimum, and it's one quarter inch braided nylon rope. The ends are whipped so that they don't fray or uh, unravel in any way, and there is a knotted permanent loop in one end. I keep these unbungees in my truck, in my wife's car, in my shop, in my garden shed, and I have used these for years. They are incredibly useful. They are far more useful than the bungee. All right, so I'm gonna show you real quick how I make one of these. Here I've got uh, one quarter inch by 50 foot braided rope, superior strength nylon. A 50 foot length of this will cost you about seven bucks. And that will give you seven unbungee cords. All right, I have a system here. I've actually got a clamp and I've got a spot over here. I clamp the end here. <laughs> and I've measured out a mark, see that? So I can get, I can pull this tight, get my seven foot mark. It's not like seven foot's gotta be exact, but if you wanna get seven pieces out of a 50 foot length, you wanna try to get close to seven feet. There we go. I will whip the ends. And what I have for that, this is leather stitching twine, maybe they call it. I bought this at a yard sale for two bucks. It's like a lifetime supply. And uh, I always buy string and twine when I see it cheap at sales. I have this uh, affinity for string and twine. Okay, so I'm cutting it 36 inches. Now I was a Boy Scout, so I learned how to whip rope back in the day. And I'll, you know, there's YouTubes that show this, but I'll get up here and try to show it to you too. What you wanna do is bend the end back three or four inches into a loop like you see right there and then you take the loop end and you put it on the end of your rope here so that you've got a couple inches here and we have the the loose end right here or the short end sticking out there and then I've got the length here so what I just start doing is come back get away from this frayed end a little bit come back here and just start wrapping Wrapping. Now here I'm wrapping tight and I'm going to do this for about an inch in length. This doesn't take long once you learn it and it's kind of fun to be able to do this. It, it really does protect the end of your rope. Now I'm about an inch there. My thumb is exactly an inch wide. I got a little bit more to go. It's not like it has to be exactly an inch, but. We've got about an inch there. So I'm gonna hold it here. See the loop right there? Hopefully you can see that. Put the end through the loop. Okay, bring this over. Now I need to hold that like so, and you've got the loop right there. And then I'm gonna pull this end, I'm gonna pull that loop closed. There, I just yanked it in, and then you pull, the loop is right at the edge here, and you pull it down about halfway. You don't wanna pull it all the way through. And so there, it's it's whipped and it's secured. I'll take my scissors, cut that end off. I'll cut that. Got just a little bit peeking out there. This end here, I'll trim it. You can melt it with a torch. 
We'll give it a try here. I got the torch end off so it's a more gentle flame. Yeah. yeah there we go. Nice. All right. So I'll do the other end real quick. We'll speed. All right, here you can see I've whipped both of the ends. Now I'm just going to make a loop, or yeah, a loop, that's a loop, right? And uh, let's see, how long would that be about? It's about nine inches. My hand is nine inches, the span. That's a good length, I'd say. And then you just knot it, knot it, K-N-O-T it, like so. Pull it good and tight, because you're not going to undo that. You can leave it like that. And there we have one finished unbungee cord ready to serve any number of uh, functions as needed. The loop just uh, facilitates, well, in my shop I hang them on a uh, hook so they you can organize them that way, but the loop just makes it easier sometimes to tie off things. So this is short enough where it's not going to get all tangled up like a 50-foot roll of braided rope wood and it doesn't take up a lot of space as you can uh, fold these up and you could uh, stick them somewhere in your car or put them right in your pocket if you want to put one right in your pocket you can do that you know try to do that with a bungee cord right so there you go that's the idea I, I'm very certain that if you make yourself a bunch of these unbungees you're gonna use them and you're gonna love them Thanks a lot for watching, everybody.